Welcome back for anyone interested. Here's how I make me jumps. This is a viewer request, uh, Jim 1969. So Jim, what you want to do is get two boxes, mate. Split one open because we need this as a straight edge plus your ramp and some extra templates, whatever. But anyways, seal your box up, top and bottom, yeah. And then what you want to do is on the side, go up it, make it with your straight edge. Use the second box as a straight edge. Make a nice straight line up the side. Match that with the down slope of the other corner on the opposite side. Yep. So then when you cut the box all the way along these edges and the lines that you've done, including the bottom edge there, what you'll end up with is this. Right. So now that's two jumps, theoretically. So mark your first line out. Make sure it comes in nice and like kind of flat towards the bottom. And then once you've decided that, cut that side out, but up there. So you're keeping... All this side on because later on you're going to fold that down and it'll make that side a bit stronger but anyways i'll get back you so once you've decided how you want your jump whether you want it to be like kind of like a flat sand or more to send your car on a flip take a little piece of the other cardboard enough so it's going to cover that like that and what you want to do is just push it into the corner transfer a line onto there cut this out and then use that as your template to just put against the other side of the box, draw the line and cut that section out there so you're left with, as you can see, so you're left with this top box. So I've done both sides, you can see there, from one side to the next. So because you've done the template, that will be even. But don't throw your template away, you need that because basically your template's going to go in the centre there. It's just to shore up the centre to stop your ram from dipping away. But don't do that yet. So this top bit, just offer a fold into it, so you're folding it at the peak. So at the peak of your jump here, that's where you want your fold to be on both sides. And then once you've folded it, just tuck it in. And that there's like a nice, a nice sturdy edge for your car to be taken off. Or if you're having that as a landing jump, it's pretty sturdy for your car to land on. So the next step, Take your little template that you've got and either hot glue it in or however you can fix it in, but that's where you want it. You want it right in the centre. Just waiting for the glue gun to heat up because like I say, that's how I'm going to stick mine in. And uh, I just thought I'd give you guys a bit of a laugh here. So I've got buy me a coffee down in the description, obviously, because I want to get away from just being, you know, stuck in my little corner here of not much. And here's the camera stand that gets you guys all of the videos. There you go, look at that. Wow, epic. So, if you'd like to support the channel so I can buy a new Hoover stand, then you can. I'll put a link in the description down below. Tommy RC, rock on, dude. Thanks for supporting the channel. Chris Boogie, thank you, dude, also. So, anyways, guys, I'll get back to you once I've glued this in the centre, and then we'll lay something on top for your ramp. So, that's my centre piece in. Obviously, that was the template that you've made from that side to transfer to this side. Then you use that template for the centre and it shows everything up and make sure you've got kind of something like that right so now cut a piece of the box out so you've got the flaps as well and then the, the lines go across so obviously it'll bend down that way and when you're placing it on top of your jump give about i don't know a centimeter two centimeters it's up to you but make sure it sticks above the jump and when you press it in with your hand so it'll do that straight away and obviously you can press down in the middle because you put support there right now what you want to do is bend that top piece down first though right and sellotape that down or hot glue it down whichever you prefer right so once you've done the top bit i've cut tabs in it just so it's easier to stick it down and then what you want to do is flick it over and hold it at the bottom so like your sides in contact as you can see the cardboard's roughly in contact with everything Mark a line about an inch and cut all the way down there so you end up with that. Yeah? And then what you want to do is cut tabs in that again and then fold them over so as you can see they're going to get glued onto the side and then that's pretty much your jump done once you've done both sides. For these bottom ones you can either trim them or you can just fold them round. That's up to you guys. One jump. Please. 
So that's what you simply be making yourselves and just put a bit of duct tape on the bottom because like I say, that's where the, the top of the box should be uh, and just keep that sealed up. To the jumps, Batman. Once you've made a few half boxes and you do that with the tops, like I say, you can have different send-offs. There we go. Let's walk down the line. Different send-offs. And then all the way at the end, if you just kind of leave it right at the top, you can have yourself a backflip one. So, poof. And you've got to practice with your jumps as well, as to do you need full throttle on? Do you need to not full throttle on this one? I probably will. Yep, so there we go. Next jump. I well, wonder we what we'll have to do with this one. Will we need full throttle on again? Yes, so we'll do that again. Oh, too slow. Sod it, skip to the next one. Trying to keep this video short for you guys. Line it up a bit. Here we go. Oh, nice send and a tumble at the end. And my favourite. This has got to be my favourite, like. The backflip. See if I can get it today. Oh, yes. There it is. The one and only backflip machine. Oh, beautiful. Take that all day, guys. So anyways, if you want to support the channel, guys, hit it up. The, link in, uh, the link's in the description. It buy me a coffee, and you can become a supporter of the channel. Support this madness. I always do review our requests as well. Oh, nice. Oh, my body's come up a little bit. If you've noticed as well, car looks better as well if you stick us on it. Come round the side there, race and precision. RC Mart, you made it on there, but you didn't do nothing for me. I don't know why I put you on the car. And then, if you haven't seen these guys, I'll see you next Tuesday. I'll put a link in the description to go and see them guys as well. So guys, as always, if you've liked that one, like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. And I forgot to put that jump out that I built, didn't I? So anyways, here's that jump that I built just to keep the continuity fans happy. So there it is. Um, let's see what type of jump this does. In. Oh, that one's where you've got to kind of power up to it and then let off the throttle, I think. Nope. <laughs> Anyways, you are getting the idea, guys. Let's see what happens when I just hit it. Nice. Oh, look at that. All the way down the garden. That's them jumps that I said that I'd make. Shout out to Jim, 1969. Yep, I think that's who it was, if I remember rightly, dude. So I hope this is coming handy for you. As you can see, good little jumps. Rough landing on that one. These one four fours just take it, guys. If you haven't already got one, go and get one. So that's it. Hope you've enjoyed. Subscribe.